looks like this is going to take some time looks like this is going to take a while longer and this is probably going to take the longest hello everyone so today i'll show how to take a backup of your files on the asus rog ally before resetting the device the backup method provided by asus itself does not let you backup games so i'll teach you how to backup game files also by using diablo 4 as an example so let's get started make sure you have connected your external hard drive to the rog ally and the rog ally itself is connected to a power source on the rog ally go to the my asus app then to customer support and then to switch and recovery there select backup or restore with external hard disk if you have enough space on your dropbox account you can select that as well once you have selected your preferred method choose backup as we are just going to backup now and choose the drive on your external hard drive where you want to backup this will take some time uh, select what files you want to backup it is interesting to note here that uh, the game files or any applications that you have installed are not displayed for backup here so let's get the process started you basically choose the files and settings that you want to backup it does not let you backup applications here after you're done selecting just click on start transfer it will begin the process and it's going to take a while you should also note that it's going to try downloading files from your one drive you can stop the downloads in the middle of the process and it doesn't affect the backup of the files itself on your rog ally i just let it run it took around 45 minutes for me to back up around 19 GB yep once the backup is done you will get a message saying the data backup is complete I will next show how to take a backup of your game files for example I will be using Diablo 4 here in fact I forgot to take a backup of uh, the game files on my ASUS ROG Ally before giving it for repair so here I will be doing the process on my MacBook where thankfully I've installed the Windows version of Diablo 4 so it will help me when I get my ROG Ally as well it is a pain to download more than 90 GB data from the internet you have to follow the same procedure even on your ROG Ally you go to your installation directory if you haven't changed the path while installing the default path is usually your c drive then you go to program files 86 and there diablo 4 copy the entire folder do not go into the folder just copy the folder and paste it on your external hard drive it is going to take some time it will be probably close to 90 gb data that's it actually for uh, blizzard games this is all the copying that you need to do so uh, when you set up uh, your rog ally again you just need to download battlenet go to the tab of the game that you want to play then you select i'll show you diablo 2 here uh, as an example since i haven't yet installed you choose locate the game if you have already copied the files in fact you can choose to run the game from your external hard drive as well you just point to the location of the game files it's quite a simple procedure on the other hand if your uh, if your menu shows you something like this if it gives you an option to play or display some error just go to game settings and modify the install location use a different folder and yeah choose wherever you have copied the game files that's all that needs to be done and then you can continue playing your game this is the method for battlenet games the process will be slightly different for games which you have installed from other launchers for example from steam or epic games or gog the process is going to be slightly different with each launcher now we come to the final part of the video where we have to reset the device before giving it for repair
make sure you've backed up all your files do not forget to back up your game files like i did do not make that mistake so let's get on with it go to your settings menu and stay in the system settings select recovery and there reset this pc it will give you two options when you select reset you can either choose to keep your files or remove all your personal files and apps and settings since you're going to be giving your device to a third party i recommend removing everything again it depends on why you are resetting your device if you're just resetting it just to change some uh, to default to the default settings it is better to keep your personal files then i chose to remove everything and i prefer a local reinstall it's basically going to reinstall uh, windows from the data on the device itself if you choose cloud download it's going to download from the internet and it's going to take a lot longer it is going to show you additional settings if you have some uh, very sensitive data on your rog ally it is better to clean data this will make sure that all files are deleted scrubbed basically but if you don't really have any sensitive data but just want to delete your files uh, just uh, default to the default settings there is no need to scrub the data and it will be a lot faster as well like i said better to reinstall windows from the device itself instead of downloading it and then you press next and then it's going to take some time it will uh, restart quite a number of times and that's it you just uh, make sure that you've selected the correct settings make sure you've backed up everything before hitting the reset button it's going to take a while i in fact left left it connected to the power source and went to sleep it, it, it took a very long time so that's it guys hope you learned something useful in this video If you found it useful please consider liking and sharing the video consider subscribing to the channel also if you found the content useful on this channel see you in the next one thank you for watching it